Welcome to IFL. <laughs> Welcome to TV Boxing in association with IFL TV and Mackin's Gym Marbella. Here with me I have Willis Hitman Mian, fresh off the back of a devastating KO victory out there on the Guild Fletcher main event, let's call it. Long wait for you to get out there, fight got pushed back, but um, in the end all worth the wait with this. How do you feel to get out there? Yeah, um, you know, there's always going to be setbacks in boxing, uh, whether it's small ones on the card or, you know, little ones at training. You know, it doesn't matter, you just got to sort of mentally get around it and get ready to go. But yeah, um, as a team, you know, it was a, only my second fight, it was a bit of a stuff up. But um, yeah, we, you know, we conquered it as a team and went out there, was fresh again, got the job done. Absolutely. And talk us through that knockout. It was a, um, a devastating punch, and so I don't think many people would be uh, getting up from that. How did um, did you see that coming, or was it a lucky shot? Oh, I mean, Alof is a you know tough dude. I take my hat off him to for uh, you know taking the fight in the circumstances he did, and you know four or five days notice. Um, you know, like I said again, that's boxing. A couple of opponents pulled out, but um, you know the game plan stays the same. You know, box sharp, defend aggressive. You know, and attack when it comes and. Alofa left himself open and the opportunity was there, so I capitalised on it. Uh, so in, everyone tipping yourself for, for great things moving forward. Another world champion, potentially, or another champion in the Mian family. How soon do you want to be challenging for titles and, and getting into these big, big fights? Oh, you know, um, in a perfect world, I'd like to just fight, fight, fight every week and, you know, eventually make my way up to the world rankings. But, um, you know, it's not, not a boxing perfect world like we see tonight. My fight got pushed back four or five hours. But, um, you know, a couple of years, that's the plan for us as a team. Um, just back to the drawing board, picking the little things that we can do and improve on. So in, in Australia, who do you see as um, someone to, uh, to maybe aspire to a fight in you know, a year's time, a year or two's time in that heavyweight division? Who, who do you look up to? Oh, you know, fighters like my dad, Bob Mirovic, Alex Leopold, you know, they lay the foundation in Australian heavyweight boxing. Um, you know, they set the standard, I guess. Now we've got guys like uh, Lucas Brown, you know, myself coming up. Um, it's going to be a competitive division when I'm in my best, so I guess just my own style and trying to adapt to my opponents. Absolutely, punches like that will uh, be going through them pretty quickly. We wish you all the best, Willis, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thanks.